Hello everyone, this is how I set things up in Adobe Audition. I'll use quite a number of shortcut keys. I'm also open to any comments or improvements done by you audio masters out there. But this is what I use and it seems to work for setting up narration for books. And this uses Audible settings. So I'll just press Control shift n for new file. I'll go ahead and call this sample 3. And the settings are at 44100 for sample rate, channels are mono, bit, de bit depth to 16. Select OK. And here's our file ready to go. So then I'll go ahead and press record. Hi everyone, this is just a sample of an audiobook dated July 10th, 2005. Dated July 6th, 2021. So you noticed, um, I pressed stop there, I, I did a double hand clap, one usually isn't enough, do two hand claps, and you see the audio spikes, and that tells me, hey, you need to fix something on this track. Now right here, uh, let's go to the beginning, I'll take this first section, this is kind of that ambient air, right? First let's chop off the, the little part here. This is kind of the ambient air, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to click on or type in shift P and what that did is it took this highlighted section and it says hey that's a noise print right there I want to get rid of that then I'll click control shift P to bring up the error noise reduction menu I'm not going to touch any of the settings here you could just look at mine and match yours or go to presets and say default Okay, there it is right there. And all I do is uh, type in Control A for the entire track, because I want to remove from the entire track, and just say Apply. And all that did is get rid of that ambient uh, noise that's in the room. So this is assuming you have a clean recording environment to begin with. We're just getting rid of any extra ambient noise, and it removed it from the whole recording. If you need more extensive work than that, then you can mess with all the settings. But this is just a simple workflow. Now you notice I have these clap spikes. Well, I'm very visual. And if you notice, this shape looks very similar to this shape, right? They look almost the same. So that tells me visually that one is the later one is probably the same thing as this. So. I'll listen to what happens after the collapse. Dated. July. dated. dated. I say the word dated. So visually, this looks like the same word. Dated. Yeah, dated. So I don't even listen to the whole mistake. I just know. Dated. 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 So I'm just going to click and drag to sometime before I made that mistake. Type delete on the keyboard. And that got rid of the mistake, and the new piece should be there. So that's just kind of a, a basic, uh, basic editing, simple, pretty simple. Uh, I don't do the roll and punch type of thing. I just do the double clap. And then I need to also uh, remaster this track. So I'm going to go to File, New, Multi-Track Session doesn't matter what you call it this is just kind of a working file so then I'm gonna find my mp3 I just did it's called sample 3 I'm gonna click and drag that onto the timeline and all I'm gonna do is just a quick master over here on the right you'll see this panel called essential sound if you don't see that just go to your windows and you should see essential sound just make sure you check that box with essential sound you're going to go to dialog then on the presets go to podcast voice and this is going to set it up to industry standard now sometimes the volume tends to be a little low for audible so I might bring this up to 2.5 here at the clip volume you might even punch it to 3 you'll have to see the meter as we go hi everyone this is just a sample of an audio book dated July so we stayed in the yellow pretty much the whole time. So that sounds pretty good. 
the airs I remove the noise and change it to a podcast podcast voice. Hi everyone, this is just a sample. Of now this is personal choice, but over here on the right under enhanced speech, for female voices you could select high tone, and or and low tone for male. It used to say female and male, but I guess you know political correctness and all. So now it just says high tone and low tone. But that's when those buttons would usually be selected, uh, depending on what kind of voice you have. There's a lot in this menu you can mess with, but I just go by the defaults and they work out pretty well. And then to output, so I'm going to output here within the, I need to go to the session. Okay, and I'm going to say file, export, multi-track mix down, entire session. Now here's where you want to set things up. So you want to use your naming convention um, by a track number, chapter number. And then on the settings for sample type, I set this up for audible already. So you're at 44, 100, bit depth 16. And then for MP3, 192. You could select all these different ones. I just make sure it's on 192 on constant. And then uh, I usually need to change the mix down option. So I'll select change and uncheck stereo and instead check mono. And say OK. And there you go. Your file is done. So that's just a basic editing and remastering using Adobe Audition.